Gordon J. Lau is an elementary school located in Chinatown, San Francisco, California. While Gordon J. Lau Elementary welcomes and celebrates students of all races and colors, there was a time in the past when this wasn't the case. Originally named the Chinese Primary School, the school was built in 1859 as a segregated school for children of Chinese descent. However, it lost funding in 1871 and was closed until a couple of years later when a nearby court case took place between the Tape family and Jenny Hurley. In 1884, Joseph and Mary Tape had planned on sending their eight-year-old American-born daughter, Mamie Tape, to their local elementary school, Spring Valley School. However, Mamie was denied admission on the basis that she had Chinese ancestry, leading the Tate family to sue the San Francisco Board of Education and eventually win. After the Tate family won their case, Andrew Mulder, the superintendent of public schools in San Francisco, contacted Representative W.B. May asking to reinstate segregated schools for children of Mongolian descent. Thus, the Chinese primary school was reestablished in 1885. Eventually, the school was renamed to Oriental School so that, in addition to children of Chinese descent, the school could also accommodate Japanese and Korean school children. Then, in 1924, the Oriental School was renamed Commodore Stockton Elementary, which was the name of a U.S. Navy Commodore, Robert Stockton, who had helped conquer California in the Mexican-American War. I was born in San Francisco in 1940, the youngest of three children. I am an, a third generation San Franciscan. I attended Commodore Stockton Elementary School from the years 1944 to 1951. And I began my schooling in kindergarten. When we reached the sixth grade, we had the unique experience of having a Chinese American teacher, Miss Elizabeth Hall. It was unique because all of the other teachers were female and Caucasian. This was our first teacher who looked like us. At the time, the demographics in our school was almost all Chinese, Cantonese speaking, Chinese American students. There were only two classmates who were not full-blooded Chinese. I loved going to school at Commodore Stockton and all my teachers were my favorites. Lastly, in 1998, the school was, again, renamed to Gordon J. Lau. Lau was a Chinese American who was an activist for San Francisco's Asian American community. He was eventually appointed to the Board of Supervisors in 1977. Due to his outstanding achievements in the Chinese American community and his standing as a civil rights pioneer, the school was named in honor of him. I'm Mary Dong Lau. And how am I connected to Gordon? Well, I was married to him for 31 years until he passed away on April 19, 1998. Gordon, being the first Chinese American to be elected to the Board of Supervisors, was a big step and a great accomplishment because this paved the way for other Asians to run and to be elected to higher office, as you can see today. And another thing that uh, Gordon did was he authored the city's first rent control bill, which helped the low-income Chinese families, especially the elderly, the seniors, or the, any minority group, uh, so that they could stay in their apartments and um, not be uh, worried that they would have to uh, be evicted or, or, or leave. And he uh, worked uh, with Chinese for Affirmative Action uh, to uh, help uh, people get jobs. Well, after Gordon passed, the community wanted to honor him by naming something in his memory. So they chose to rename the, the Commodore Stockton School to the Gordon J. Lau Elementary School. And I thought this was both very fitting and proper to honor Gordon in this way because, after all, the school is right in the heart of Chinatown. And that's where Gordon's office was in Chinatown and, and uh, most of his advocacy work was done there in Chinatown. Even before uh, Gordon became supervisor, he was already a pioneer for civil rights 
and he was a, a great advocate for the needs of the Chinese community and for San Francisco as a whole. He was for all people, equality for all. Despite the troubling history behind Gordon J. Lau Elementary, the school today still honors one of San Francisco's Chinese-American community leaders by taking in school children of all racial backgrounds and identities.